Stephanie here with a video for My Favorite Things. In today's episode of MFTV, we are going to have some fun with some really colorful glitter, and we're going to create a rainbow with some cloud detail and a pot of gold. I thought it would be a fun design to do with St. Patrick's Day coming up, so I decided to pull out my glitter and show you a fun way to create a rainbow if you don't necessarily have any type of die or stamp that creates a rainbow for you. So to start off, I'm just going to prepare my cardstock panel. This is going to be the sky area that we're going to put our rainbow on. And I'm just adding some peacock feathers distressing to the background. I don't want it to be completely white, but I don't want to have it super blue either. So I'm kind of being light handed and just starting in the middle and kind of working my way out to the outside edges so it gets a little bit lighter as I go towards the outside edge. And then once I'm happy with the color, I'm going to do as I normally do and just add a little bit of water onto this background. I just want to distress it a bit more and kind of give it the effect of some clouds in behind my rainbow when I'm finished. So I did put some water on there. I'm just using a paper towel to kind of dab it up. And you can see when I flip it back over, I'm left with this really great distress look in the blue. And it just really helps to give it some texture and just really make it look a little bit more dimensional when the card is finished. Now to use any type of loose glitter, you need a really good strong double-sided tape. So I'm going to be using score tape. This is my favorite tape to use when using any of my different glitters. And the great thing about this is that it comes in different widths, so you're able to kind of pick what size you want to use. So this is going to make creating a rainbow really super easy because we're going to use the eighth inch width tape here and we're just going to continually add a strip side by side by side and add glitter to each of these strips one at a time and it's going to create a rainbow. Now I really love the look of a rainbow that goes completely up and down on a card. I just think it's a really cool kind of graphic geometric type of rainbow design so I really wanted to create that type of rainbow and since we're using strips of adhesive it made it really super easy to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a strip onto the cardstock so you can see I did there and I'm going to start with my glitter and add the color to the strip that I want to add on there to create the rainbow and I'm just going to do it one at a time and what this is going to do is it's going to completely cover that sticky strip with the glitter so that when I move on to the second one it's going to already have glitter on the first so none of the glitter that I'm adding to the second one is going to kind of transfer to that first strip. So I'm just using coffee filters to kind of lay my cardstock panel in, and this is just going to catch all the excess glitter. And then I have some Swiffer cloths right beside me that is going to help me clean up all of the excess glitter. Glitter can be a little bit messy, so the, having the little Swiffer cloths really helps to clean everything up because it kind of the glitter kind of statics right to it, and it makes cleanup a breeze. So there's no issue at all. And then I just throw out each of the coffee filters as I go. They're very inexpensive, so I don't mind that. You know, I use seven different coffee filters for this project just because, like I said, they are relatively inexpensive, so it was no problem, and I didn't want any of the glitters to kind of mix together. So I'm just kind of following the rainbow order, so I'm doing all of the colors of the rainbow. And like I said, I'm just grabbing a new piece of tape, which is sticking all over my scissors, and as I go, I'm just changing out the glitter color and adding a different color of glitter in. Now I did decide to add a teal color, um, so I did kind of change up. It's not a traditional rainbow. I don't have the indigo color that is normally in a rainbow. I decided to use a teal color of glitter instead. And then I moved on to my blue color as well. Now for my glitter, I am using Elizabeth Craft Designs Glitter. This is a really great microfine glitter and it sticks great to the score tape and I have no issues at all with any of the glitter kind of rubbing off. What I like to do is use my fingertip first and kind of push all that glitter right into that adhesive to make sure I have it really pressed down and completely covered over the entire adhesive area. And then I like to take my bone folder and just kind of burnish it right down. And this is going to ensure that that glitter stays put. You don't have any glitter rub off at all on your finger when you are finished and then I have this great rainbow done here now so I'm just taking my Swiffer cloth and doing a once over I'm completely wiping the front and back of the cardstock panel and this is just going to collect any of the loose glitter that was kind of left behind and look at this awesome rainbow we're left with it's so glittery the colors are so bright and it's just a super easy way to create a rainbow if you don't have an actual die that can do it for you and like I mentioned I love the straight up and down I just think it's such a cool design now to create the rest of the card, I used the Stitch Cloud Edges Dynamics and I cut out three different cloud shapes and those are all going to be positioned at the bottom of the card. And I also cut out a planter from the Perfect Planter set. This is actually like a um, for a plant, but I thought it worked perfectly to create our little pot for our pot of gold. So I used some gray distressings, colored my cardstock panel, and then I cut out that one planter and that's the one we're going to use tucked into the clouds there. 
And then we're going to need to create some glittery gold coins. So what I did is I took the Gumball Machine Dynamics and I created a couple strips of glitter that I could die cut from. I just used some more of that double-sided tape in a thicker width and added it to some cardstock. And then I rubbed the yellow glitter completely over that adhesive. And then I used the little gumballs from the Gumball Machine Dynamics die set and ran that through my die cutting machine. And I was left with all of these little gold circles. And that's what we're going to use for all of the coins that are going to kind of be in the pot and kind of spilling out over top of the pot. So before I started to assemble everything together, I did stamp my sentiment from the Rainbow Greeting stamp set, and it just simply says, you're the pot of gold at the end of my rainbow. I thought that obviously went great with the design since we are adding the pot of gold and we have the rainbow already created. So now I'm going to adhere all of the cloud pieces onto the bottom area of the card. So the first two that are going to be in the background, I'm adhering directly onto the card with Tape Runner. So they're going to be completely flat against the cardstock panel. And then for the last one, I'm using some foam adhesive because I want this one to have a little bit more dimension and kind of be lifted up off the card. So I'm adding the foam adhesive all over the background area of this cloud, and then I'm going to add this one on to the very bottom of this cardstock panel. And this is also going to allow me to adhere my pot of gold onto the cardstock with foam adhesive as well. So I just put some adhesive on the back of that and then tucked it under that cloud, and now it's kind of lifted off of the card design. So all we have left to do now is just add the gold coins to the little pot here. So I'm just using my tape runner and I'm adding adhesive to each of these little circles. And then I'm just filling up the pot first. And then I'm going to add some of the little gold coins scattered around the rainbow and kind of up above the clouds and then a few underneath. I ended up adding a few more than what you see in the video. Once I had it completely done, I decided that it still needed some more over kind of directly under the rainbow. So I did add some on there. And then to finish it off, I'm just going to add this panel to a top folding card base. This is an A2 size card, which is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to put this panel on here and that is going to complete our card. So now we have a really fun rainbow themed card with a sparkly rainbow that we created just by using some tape adhesive and some glitter. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you would like a chance to win a $20 gift card to the MFT online store, please leave a comment on this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will announce the winner in next week's MFTV episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.